I'm Archie Luxury reporting to you live from the streets of Bangkok, Thailand, and today we're reviewing my good friend Leonardo's watch collection. And uh, I said to him, I said, hey, that's a cool Daytona. And uh, he said to me, hey, do you want to see my solid gold Rolex vintage GMT? And uh, anyhow, he, uh, he got this out, and it's an absolute stunner. It's GMT Master II. No diamonds, but it's just got a casual elegance to it. I mean, it's just so damn cool. And uh, it's got the, this is a piece here, I believe, from the 90s, late 90s. And uh, it's just solid gold GMT. I mean, any of those wankers who big note themselves with the steel one, you ain't seen nothing till you've held the solid gold version. And uh, it, it's a, I tell you what, Archie, for a few minutes there, he was thinking about asking whether he'd do a swap with, with uh, his annual calendar for one of these pieces. And uh, they're just absolutely amazing. They're solid gold. They're just a super fuck off piece and uh, I, I gotta say you know if you want something which is beautiful and uh, just amazing maybe one of these things here is the way to go it's just a super fuck off piece and uh, you can wear it anywhere you like and it just it's just an amazing amazing thing and uh, a Rolex in solid gold man it is a beautiful object a lot of hand uh, you know a lot of hand work is done here a lot of these these solid gold pieces they've got a lot more uh, hand workmanship on them they're a lot more um, you know attention to detail and that they are they're a huge whack in cash more expensive than the steel or the two-tone but you can really these are really quite beautiful things and uh, the numbers of solid gold ones they produce is is very very small compared to steel so these are stunners and uh, I gotta say Leonardo that gold GMT my god that is beautiful I'm Archie Luxury reporting to you live from the streets of Bangkok Thailand